Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sasha. Today in this video, we are going to see about measurement and motion. Since morning when we get up, we start to use measurement such as what time we have to get up, what time we should get ready for school and how much distance is covered by our bus to reach school and many more things. We come across measurement of time, measurement of mass, measurement of distance, measurement of temperature, etc. Measurement is an integral part of our everyday life. Now let me show some common examples of measurement. A scrap dealer measures the mass of the newspaper that he collects from each house. A cloth merchant measures the length of the fabric that he sells. A milkman measures the quantity of the milk that he sells in each household. A doctor checks the temperature of the patient. A vegetable vendor uses a balance and some more fixed quantity called the waste to measure the mass of the item that anyone buys. So from this we can understand, measurement is a process of comparing the unknown quantity of an object to be measured with the known fixed quantity of the same kind. The known fixed quantity used in the measurement is called unit. Now for better understanding, let me show how to measure the length of a notebook. The unknown quantity which needs to be measured is a notebook and the known quantity referred to as the fixed quantity is a ruler. Now, I am going to measure the length of the notebook using a ruler. The length of the notebook is 24 cm. Any measured quantity is always expressed by a number followed by unit. Quantity equal to numerical value into unit. Here, the numerical value is 24 and the unit is centimeter. Now, thus, the length of the notebook is 24 cm. Thus, the process of comparing the unknown quantity to be measured with the known fixed quantity of the same kind is called measurement. In our everyday life, we used to measure many quantities such as length, mass, time, temperature, etc. Such quantity that can be measured are called physical quantity. Physical quantities are of two types. Fundamental physical quantity and derived physical quantity. Physical quantity that are unique and cannot be expressed in terms of anything else are called fundamental physical quantity. Example, length, mass, time, temperature, etc. Physical quantity that are combination of other quantities are called derived physical quantity. Example, area, volume, etc. In early time, people used different parts of their body such as hand, arm and foot for measuring length. These units of measurement are called traditional units of measurement. Some of the traditional units of measurement are digit, span, foot, cubit, yard, fathom, inch and hand. Most commonly used traditional units of measurement are span, foot, cubit and yard. The distance between the end of our outstretched arm to the tip of our nose is called yard. The length from the elbow till the tip of our middle finger is called cubit. The length of an adult person's bare foot is called foot. The length between the tip of our thumb to the tip of our little finger is of an outstretched arm is called hand span. But these traditional units of measurement are not known as standard units of measurement as sizes of body part vary from person to person. That is why they are not accurate and reliable units of measurement. We already know that traditional units of measurement are not accurate and reliable. To overcome these inconsistencies in 1960, scientists from all over the world gathered and adopted the internationally acceptable system. This system is known as SI system. SI system stands for System International System. Almost all the countries all over the world follow the SI system. Some other systems of standard units are CGS system, centimeter for length, gram for mass and second for time. MKS system, meter for length, kilogram for mass and second for time. FPS system, foot for length, pound for mass and second for time. The SI system of units are based on the MKS system of units. Now we are going to see the 7 fundamental quantities and the SI units. The seven fundamental quantities are mass, length, time, current, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity. The SI unit of mass is kilogram, SI unit of length is meter, SI unit of time is second, current is expressed as ampere, temperature is expressed as Kelvin, amount of substance is expressed as mole and luminous intensity is expressed as candela. Now, let's quickly review some points that 
that we learnt on measurements. Distance between elbow to the tip of our middle finger. Cubit. Yes, a unit of length. Meter. Example of fundamental quantities. Length, mass, time. Yes, a unit of mass. Kilogram. Commonly used traditional units of length. Yard, cubit, foot, handspan. Non fixed quantity used in measurement. Unit. Example of derived quantity. Area, volume. Distance from the tip of nose to the outstretched arm. Yard. Comparison of unknown quantity with a known quantity. Measurement. Yes, a unit of time. Second. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also, leave your comments below. I will meet you in the next video with the continuation of measurement and motion. Until then, bye bye from Sasha.